If you're it's Emily Fox, today's video is going to be a lip swatch video on the newest addition to the Maybelline Superstay ink crayons. I have been raving about this formula ever since they came out last year and they finally came out with five new shades so I'm obviously going to be swatching them. One of the things I was asking for when I reviewed them for the first time was more nude shades and they have five pinks and some of them are definitely on the nude side so definitely some great colors. Definitely recommend checking out the lip swatch video so you can see them in action. I've been saying that the formula is pretty magical just because they go on so creamy and opaque yet they dry kind of to a matte finish, but they're still comfortable, pretty much transfer proof, but then they last all day, but they don't dry out your lips. It's just like, what are you made of? I don't know, but I really like it. My favorite colors would have to be Trust Your Gut, which seems to be working really well for me at the moment. I will be curious though, middle of summer, how it's going to be because it has a lot of grayish to it. So if you have a warm undertone or if you're more tan, it will definitely be a lot harder to pull off but right now it's a great nude. <laughs> Keep It Fun, which is a really nice powdery blue based pink, which I feel like I haven't seen a lot of people wearing them and I used to be kind of scared of them, but I'm really enjoying this. Probably clashing a little bit with my peachy blush, but wow. I'm enjoying this. I think Change is Good is going to be the most popular shade in the whole range. It's just so universally flattering. If you're someone that wants to get into colors where you're kind of scared and you don't want to go too bright, this is it. You can easily mix it with something more nude if that's your thing, but on its own, it's just such a pretty kind of like corally shade, but it's not too out there. I love this. I will get a ton of use out of this during the spring and summer. And speak your mind. This seems like a good moment to show you that there is a sharpener at the other end. So if something happens, I have no idea what happened to it. You can sharpen it and get it as sharp as you want. I don't need the full sharpness, but that's definitely going to be better than the flat top. As always, I will be swatching all of them on my arm and on my lips to try and help you decide which colors you might need in your life. Let me know in the comment section your favorite one because I want to know. Definitely stay tuned because at the end, I will be including some comparison with some of the closest colors from the original line. And I will also be doing a wear test so you can see if they perform as well as, again, the original line. Enough with the review. Let's go on with the swatches. So I'm going to be comparing some of the older shades to the newest one, trying to find anything that is, oops, kind of close or the closest, just so you can see uh, if you have some of these colors, basically, what they look like compared to the new ones. So, so we have Lead the Way, which is slightly pinkier, mauvier than the first one mentioned. And because I know it's a really popular color too, this is Enjoy the View. You can see it is darker, more orangey than these two that are probably the closest one, but it's definitely not that close. Just wanted to compare because I know a lot of people like that color, me included. Right here we have Stay Exceptional, which you can see is darker, more purple than the second one. We have 30 Seek Adventure, which is definitely the pinkiest one. It's definitely brighter than the second one too. And then if we compare for the darkest shade, we have Make It Happen and Settle For More. You can see they're both darker 
than the other one. It's kind of a more muted berry shade. It's definitely easier to pull off and definitely less scary if you are more intimidated by brighter, deeper shades. Okay, so I tried to remove as much staining as possible. The lighter shades are not too bad unless you wear them for a little while, but the last one was definitely pretty dark. But this is my natural lip color after at least swatching a few things and, you know, rubbing. Um, I think we already know which shade I'm going to be wearing, the most popular one for sure. Uh, this is Change is Good, which, sure. <laughs> Let's apply it. And then I will be doing the transfer test all day long so you can see how it performs. So application in real time this time. So you can see super creamy, super opaque, very easy to apply. Uh, they have a little bit of shine to begin with. You're gonna notice throughout the day, it does go away a little bit. Um, I feel like if there was a little bit less white base, it would be better, but it's a really nice shade. Obviously suits my skin tone really well. Again, I will wear this a ton. So let's do the first transfer test. Wearing a white shirt was not <laughs> my best moment here. Let's do this. So first she apply, you can see that there is some, some transfer. Nothing super intense, actually. I've definitely seen a ton more than this. And you can see that the shine is mostly gone from my lips. It's obviously still comfortable. It's always hard to do a decent application after a lip swatch video where your lips get kind of, you know? Uh, so yeah, still looking great, still fully on my lips, which you can see looks great. I'm gonna be wearing this all day long and keep updating you as we go. Okay, so I'm about four hours into wearing the lipstick. I have been drinking coffee and water and everything and I am about to go and eat. So I wanted to do transfer tests to show you how things are going. There's not any transfer, which is just, and it's still looking great. I'm wearing it, my Invisalign, you can see there's no transfer, which is also great. It's so difficult to find lipsticks to wear with Invisaligns, but yeah, I'm gonna be removing them. So I have to like shove my fingers uh, in my mouth so it's obviously again very difficult on lipsticks but these don't have a problem which actually so there's nothing on my fingers it's just magical we'll see if it survives i'm probably gonna eat like ramen or something so we'll see how that looks because that's definitely difficult on lipstick so i'll update you after but yeah four hours into it still comfortable barely like no transfer really i consider that no transfer uh again comfortable my lips are not dry the lipstick is still looking pretty much as it did earlier this morning, so. Okay, so it's been two more hours, so I had my meal, and you can tell that it definitely faded because again, I mean, it's not something that lipstick will enjoy <laughs> you going through. Uh, I've been busy, I've been doing my taxes, which is not fun, uh, but yeah. I mean, it's still looking pretty decent considering. Uh, I feel like I probably should have filmed myself eating it, but we kind of know it's pretty messy and it just tends to really go on your lips. But, like you can tell on the inside if I'm smiling like this, but normally, it's not that bad. And I feel like maybe if I, not really. <laughs> but at this point, it's pretty matte actually. Let me do the transfer test. So it's still transfer proof, it's still comfortable. Uh, normally, personally, I would probably retouch a little bit, but for the sake of this video, I won't. So personally, I consider this still being pretty good. I mean, I already knew how I felt about the formula. It was just a question of testing if the new uh, colors are still pretty stable. Sometimes I feel like new shades tend to be not as good, especially if they have more purple in them. I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but still good. So I attempted to film it downstairs. I feel like it's gonna be easier to show you what is left in here. I just removed my Invisalign. Once again, there's nothing on my fingers, which is like, if you have to struggle to like remove them, you know any lipstick will be all over your fingers. So I'm just gonna use some Bioderma. I didn't even show the right side of the label and try to show you how much is left. Like honestly, there's not much of a difference from earlier. The inside was gone because again, ramen, but because it's close to my natural lip color-ish, it might not be the easiest thing to see, but at the same time, Nude lipstick rarely lasts all day, I feel like. But in this formula, they totally do, obviously. Depends on what you're gonna eat. But look, there was still a bunch of product. And I feel like my lips are stained whenever I do use these lipsticks. Like, this definitely is darker than my natural lip color, which is like, obviously something I like. So, you chums up, obviously, one of my favorite lipstick formula from drugstore, just in general. If you haven't tried them yet, 
you need to. I hope they actually bring out even more shades because 